Professional athletes make a lot of money, like a hell of a lot of money, like ridiculous, like so much more than you and me. But I'm not bitter. Still, it's nice to see those moments when it's the fans who take home the cash. Here's our top ten. LeBron James makes $9,000 a minute of game time. This bloke made $75,000. Look at this shot! <laughs> the longest sky hook in American <laughs> Airlines Arena history. Oh my, he probably enjoyed the hug by LeBron more than the money. Despite the distraction of the on-field announcer, this Giants fan drilled the Sherin into the tyre target for $100,000. Luckily, he was a good overhead mark, too. Never looked like missing. 84-year-old Mary Ann Wakefield, a 30-metre putt away from a new car just a few months ago. Tell you what, that's looking good. That's looking really good. Ah, Miss Mary Ann! She did have to put up with the advances of Tony the Shark. After the pros missed this part in the Ryder Cup, fan David Johnson did the American thing, yelling, I could have made that. Step up, buddy. Justin Rose put down 100 bucks to make it interesting. <laughs> College student Gustavo Angel Tomeo had just 30 seconds to make a layup, a free throw, a three-point shot, and a scramble back to the half court for the money shot to win $10,000 in tuition. Can I take my tuition in cash? This bloke in New Zealand had to work hard for his money. The barefoot slide, very impressive. He's got it! He's got it! A clean catch! Wear the promotional T-shirt, take a one-hander, get the cash. Yes, and that is 50K, is it? I think it is. He's the most popular block at Eden Park. And New Zealand has scored 335. He's the hero. Hey, look at this. Oh, clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle, man. <laughs> now then, how are we going to spend it, boys? 50-year-old Chris Newell was plucked from the Trent Bridge crowd in 2013 with $80,000 on offer if he hit first three stumps, too easy for the man who hadn't played for 20 years, then two, a doddle, even bowling from a metre back from the crease. And finally, just one lonely stump for the Yorkshireman. He took his family to the Melbourne Boxing Day test, where England were thumped as part of that 5-0 whitewash. Money well spent. Hitting the crossbar in rugby is usually a fail, but for fan Stuart Tinner, it was a £250,000 win. A lazy old drop punt to glory. Another great display of accuracy from this 13-year-old Sydney fan, kicking the ball through a ball-sized hole. Impressive. Not sure what he won, but the crowd loved him. Pretty much the same size target here, but with a car up for grabs. Fans could use our very own pros to take the shot with no success. Until this young man decided to take matters into his own hands. Or foot. Come on, man. Come on, Nick. I'm the prize. Yeah! 